Erin had a voice to die for. She was 22 and loved children, loved music, loved dancing, loved working with young people. It was a sunny Sunday morning and Erin was driving for over shopping. She was a good driver, so safe. Suddenly I saw something coming through the sky. The underside of a car out of control. The crash was horrific. I still feel the weight of Erin's head on my shoulder. The gurgle of her breathing. The smell of burning rubber. The smell of her perfume. I was in a coma when Erin was buried. Sometimes I miss her so much I can't breathe. That day she insisted we all put on seat belts. That's why three of us are still alive and not wiped out by dangerous driving. Because of my lovely daughter Erin.